The Void, started by LFO Presents, is hosted by Texas State students. LFO Presents is essentially a media production and event planning company that we started uh, here in local San Marcos to uh, essentially foster the types of events and community that we've been a part of for several years now. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillation. It's essentially where all your bass lines and fun stuff in the uh, EDM genre really comes from. The Void came back last Friday for their third installment of the event. Tonight is called The Void. This is our third uh, edition, our third installment. Um, basically, we have our close friends and um, the community as well. We welcome new newcomers as well, um, join together. We like to bring people together and we like to interact with everybody that shows up to our event. So The Void is held at a new venue here in San Marcos, a grassroots place called The Mothership. Uh, it's in correlation with another part of the building called Novaco Lab. The Void is a place where people can come not just to enjoy uh, electronic music of all types, but a place where they can come and spend time with their friends, uh, be a part of the community, and kind of just relax and have a good time. It's a safe space where you can come and everybody's accepted. Uh, the biggest thing we like about The Void is we get to play the kind of music that we really love, which ranges from everything that people can shuffle to all the way up to really heavy music, uh, the really heavy dubstep and kind of bass driven EDM that people just want to release and yeah, the, the kind of stuff that people can come and just forget about the world for a little while and have a really good time. The event is open to anyone who wants to be involved in the electronic dance music scene. For Bobcat Update, I'm Kaylin King. Food, fun, family, drinks, and games. Worstfest brings German roots to Texas, going from 56 years to now. Starting as simply a sausage festival with some music and dancing in 1961, the festival has transformed into a fun gathering for everyone. It's an event with worldwide appeal. Workers and attendees alike say they like coming to Worstfest because it is genuinely a good time. And we come out here and work um, some shifts and come out here and have fun on other days. I enjoy it. The people are amazing. They're so loving and friendly and the food is delicious. Yes, the atmosphere is great. The food isn't the only thing that brings people out. The rich German culture is also celebrated. Honestly, I've always been an enthusiast of the German culture. As a child, my mother was in the Army for 28 years, which is amazing. And um, Germany has been a major part of my life. And so with Worst Fest in New Braunfels, I was like, Take me there. If you didn't get a chance this year to experience the fun and excitement that is Worst Fest, make your plans now. The 10 day festival is a tradition and will return in 2019. For Bobcat Update, I'm Joel Morrison. Efforts to designate Cape Dam as a historic landmark has been denied. The San Marcos Planning and Zoning Commission says no to the proposal. If the dam had been approved for the designation, any changes made to it would have to go through the Historic Preservation Commission of the state of Texas. The dam was built more than 150 years ago. Some say it presents a safety hazard and threatens certain endangered species. The San Marcos City Council wants to remove the dam, but that effort has been not successful because of local resistance. It's set for review next month.